Good morning, fellow Island Riders. I hope you're having a great Saturday morning, or whatever morning it happens to be when you watch this video. What's the goal for today? Go to New Brunswick. That's right, we're heading off island. Not about to change the name of the channel to Mainlander ADV yet. This is just a quick visit. Overnight tonight, back home tomorrow evening. But a good solid two days of riding and exploring the backcountry of New Brunswick. The area that we're going to is the Parkendale Prosser Brook Fundy Sussex area. That's a lot of areas, isn't it? <laughs> well, the reason why it's a lot of areas is because there's a lot of cool places to cover in that small bit of ground. And uh, it's ripe for exploration. And there's just a lot of hidden gems there. I used to camp there a lot when I was a kid. We used to go to places like Blackwood Lake, Grassy Lake. We used to also go up to a place called Adair's Wilderness Lodge, which is an incredible destination for people who like to go snowmobiling and ATV riding. Uh, Larry and Ida Adair have an absolutely excellent Outfitters Lodge set up there and you can rent cabins on the lakes. You can rent cabins on their site. They offer Gas they have a little gas pump there for you And they have a heck of a restaurant too and their lemon meringue pie is out of this world At least it was when I was younger. I don't think uh, Ida's gonna change the recipe anytime soon. But, on our way there, I figured it would be a good idea to kind of shake off the cobwebs, shake off the nerves, because I'm a little nervous. So we're going to take the Appen Road down to the highway, connect to the highway from there, head to the bridge, make a quick pick stop, and then travel across the Northumberland Strait. look pretty now. Wait till we get to New Brunswick. PEI is always behind New Brunswick as far as leaves changing as it goes and we're gonna go into some wildly cool areas. Fall rides are some of the best. It's our trick. Just sashay our way through this a little bit. This is pretty dusty. Dusty old dust road. Pretty sure this is what we wanted. It's what we got. Wow, it's cold down through here. Classic road not plowed. All about this. Alright, so we've made it to the Appen Road. As far as I can tell, at least. This is what looks like the Appen Road.
this should take us on down to the highway and then we can hook onto the highway and uh, take that the rest of the way to the bridge. It's another one of those pretty light through the leaves type roads and PEI that you find often. So far it looks like it's in good shape but we're on really high elevation. Things could deteriorate quickly and that's what I'm looking for. Just to get a bearing of what I'm going to expect. Most of the trails and most of the roads that we're going to end up being on in New Brunswick are going to be, you know, similar to this and similar to the road that connects onto this. And, uh, and the way it goes is they kind of deteriorate a little bit <laughs> every kind of kilo every kilometer that you end up traveling on. The idea is to try to find that balance. There's some muck, but nothing really. It's not too bad. This is usually the muckiest spot on the on the run through here. Gears holding on. That's good news. I think we go straight here. North Cornwall. Where do we want to go? Well, it's not actually going to take you to uh, to Fredericton. Um, well, that is not where we want to go. We want to go straight. Watch out for horses through here. Follow our wildlife protocol that we went over in the last video. And we'll just take it easy. There's no time frame on this trip. Ideally, I'd like to be in camp at daylight um, this time around. Because normally, if you haven't already noticed, I usually pull into camp and pitch black. <laughs> so I think it'd be nice to give, a, give you a little look at how I set things up, maybe. But we'll see where it takes us, because I've been known to get a little greedy when it comes to the trails, and uh, I end up eating up all my time on the trails instead of heading into to camp and get set up. Trust me, there's a highway at the end of this. Let's take a look up there. Nobody's coming, good. Trail lights are on, gives some good visual. It's sunny out there. You have a hard time believing me though. Now it says we had a 20% chance of showers. Let's hope we don't get that because that would be a drag. That's ah, alright though. Everything's waterproofed. A little bit of rain, but won't be too bad, I don't think. Nothing that we can't handle, nothing we haven't dealt with before.
just the McKenna Road, eh? Alright. That was still not the Appen Road, but it was fun as heck. I'll tell you that much. folks we made it to confederation bridge figured i'd give us a stop here and just have a look at it so you can actually see it up close before we see it in first person but oh the lobster boat out there coming through but yeah so the next goal is to get across that bridge easier said than done given the current times and what we're living in but we'll take care of that afterward and we'll uh See you on the next one.